Hello, my friends. Welcome to my home studio in the beautiful Catskill Mountains in upstate New York. I'm John Morrell here at John Morrell Fragrance Review, and I'm pretty excited because I'm reviewing something I really, I'm going to give it away. I'm reviewing something I really enjoyed. I uh, just got last week, and I've given it a few full wears already, and so I'm ready, ready to do this. And uh, to see what it is, stick around. <laughs> John Morrell, fragrance review. Here comes with the swag. Fresh and dope, like heroin soap. The lamb's got swag. Talking about citrine. Zaharoff Signature Citrine. A stunning warm weather fragrance. This is a couple different types of orange. Sweet orange, mandarin orange, and there's a sweet fennel. Uh, these are the top notes. Uh, heart notes or mid notes. Arabian jasmine, pink pepper, fig wood, coarse consistus. Uh, bottom notes, dry down, purple plum, gold patchouli, sea amber, white moss, musk, frankincense, and myrrh. Let me just say, this is, uh, I love this. It's not too sweet, right? So I know people get worried when you have, you know, an orange, sweet orange, sweet fennel. Oh, is it sweet? It's not. It, it, this is actually more, I'm going to say, someone mentioned it being like a tonic, and, and I sort of agree with that, but I, what I see this is Zaharoff's take, modernized take, on a colonia, right? That's what this is. I I love colonias. I really do because it's the gentlemanly summer fragrance. You know, it, it, it's it's that kind of uh, upscale. I would call this upscale summer fragrance. This is a white. Uh, I would I would say not a t-shirt. I would actually say this is a white polo, white shorts, white sneaker uh, fragrance. That's how I see this. I see this you looking. Like you're about to get on a yacht or you're about to, uh, I don't know, maybe you're near the French Riviera, something like that. That's how I see this fragrance. Uh, now, again, you can wear anything anytime, but that's how I see this. Uh, the performance I got out of this was a about hour and a half, two hours of arm length projection. And then about five hours of scent bubble. I got about five hours, maybe close to six after six. It's more, it's closer to your skin. I wouldn't call it a skin scent, even a six, actually. I got some decent longev longevity out of it, but around six hours, it just sits a little off the skin. This actually performs better in heat. I'm gonna, you know, so, you know, I, I when I first wore this, the first couple of times, it was in my house. So it was, you know, uh, it's not hot here yet. I live in the Casco Mountain, so it's not quite, it, we sometimes skip spring. It might just become summer out of nowhere, but you know, it's not hot here yet. It's not even that warm. Today was 63 and it, the wind was blowing still. So not that hot here. So I wore this to the gym to see how it performed in heat. Like once I started sweating, I want to see what does it do when my skin gets hot? And let me tell you, it boosts the performance. Once I started sweating, citrine jumped off of my skin. It really did jumped off of my skin. So I, the performance probably now again. I came home and showered, so I can't talk about longevity. You know, after I wore it to the gym, I, I probably get about the same out. But as far as the projection, and as far as the longevity of the projection, the heat I think is going to extend that and maybe push it out further. This is really is a stunning fragrance that is to me, from for me, I should say strictly warm weather. I, I will wear this in the, but I will wear it a lot. This is going to get a lot of wear because, uh, I just love this. This is like my style. Like I like that gentleman, you know, let me just say, I do think this is a mature fragrance. When I say that doesn't mean if you're young, you can't wear it. I just think this is a fragrance. This is a warm weather fragrance that says I have my shit together. That's what it says. You know, as somebody who, uh, is successful in their own way, whatever that would be, but someone who dresses well, uh, takes care of themselves. That's what I really get out of this fragrance. It is very, very nice. And it's something I'm going to wear quite a bit, probably bring it on vacation with me because, uh, you know, when I'm in the warm weather and on vacation, that's, uh, that's something it's going to be a reach for me. That, that's going to be my, this is going to be the fragrance I reach for during really hot days. What great thing about this fragrance, it doesn't smell or feel like you're wearing a fragrance. I've said this about something else in my collection as well, but this smells so natural that it seems like that's just how you smell. That's just your scent. Uh, so it doesn't it, it doesn't do that thing where people go, oh, oh what do you wear? Ooh, what, uh, I have gotten compliments on this, but it's not, 
you know how sometimes you know someone's wearing a cologne, like they're wearing something, it might smell great, but okay, that person is wearing a cologne that pushes. This isn't like that. This is kind of a scent bubble. This is someone will smell you, but they don't, won't even know it's you at first. They're going to think, ah, something smells really good because it's so natural smelling. It could, be, it could be the environment. It could be where they are. They'll realize it's you, and they're going to say, oh, this is, wow, this guy smells great. This is, or this person smells great. Uh, this is uh, just how they smell. I think that's how it comes off. This is like your scent. Now, to me, this leans a little masculine because, of, again, for me, it has that colonia feel. I've always felt colonias are a little masculine, but I have to tell you, people don't agree. I've heard, I've heard many people say this leans feminine. That's cool too. That's great. I'm glad people think that because I do think, again, anyone can wear anything, and I think this is uh, a fragrance that anyone can wear. I do, but for me, it feels like it, it's gentlemanly, so it leans a little masculine. I, I, you know, I get why people may not agree, but for me, that, that's how I feel about it. Uh, the dry down is great too. I, I always keep a little bit of that that bubbly kind of almost carbonated feel throughout it. Even on the dry down, I, I, I feel that. And I always get a little bit of that orange. And it's not, again, it's not a sweet orange. It's kind of an airy, fresh orange. And for me, that lasts really all the way through the dry down. Uh, the patchouli comes in a little bit, the musk. But for me, uh, there, there is a little change in this as it dries down. But I always get that kind of an airy orange. It's just a fresh orange. It's very, very nice for the warm weather. This is one of the fragrances, sort of like Fico de Amalfi, I would not wear out of season unless I just want to feel good. Like if I'm at home, in a, again, temperature controlled environment, I just want to feel good, I would wear this. But I wouldn't wear this out in cold weather. This is a warm weather fragrance and it's divine. So it's an EDP, it runs 145. If you're gonna ask me if it's worth it, to me it's totally worth it. Again, I think we all have, to, that's a decision we make based on our circumstances. But to me, this is well worth it. This is a, uh, you won't find anything that smells quite like it. Yeah. Like I said, to me, it's a colonia style, but it's very modern. This is a modernized colonia. So my guess is you have nothing in your collection that smells quite like this. I think you're going to love this. It's pretty awesome. And uh, I think George hit out of the park with this. I really do. Uh, so, so I want to thank everybody. I want to thank you for watching. And again, great job on this, George. Signature Citrine. It's a home run. Especially in the summer. Check it out. We out. John Morell, fragrance review. Here comes with the swag. Fresh and dope, like heroin soap. The man's oh, got yeah. swag.